Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back, I am Sim UK, and this is F1 Manager 22. We are currently running as the Williams Racing Team Manager, and um, we haven't had the best of seasons. We've had some up and downy moments, but in the last race, I really felt like some positive things had happened. We were so close to getting points. It's not the first time we've been close to getting points. Um, we're still languishing at the bottom. Behind Aston Martin now, we're currently 10th. So um, the board are not going to be happy with that. We need to get some points on the board. That is what we need. We need to finish 10th or above. We have to make this happen pretty much this week. If not next week. Otherwise, I think we might be in trouble. So have a little look see here we're ready for the race weekend let me just check what we've got here so at the moment we've uh, started research on suspension this is going to be a next year thing uh, we're manufacturing some parts because we're having a lot of crashes a lot of accidents at the moment wings front wings especially we've got three days remaining on that so um we'll have 10 wings in three days but right now i don't think we have a spare wing which is a big problem costing us half a million each time we have to do a quick emergency build which is just a bit silly uh, the whole system behind that irritates me somewhat so i won't go into it too much um in the warehouse we currently have just two chassis. Oh, we do have a couple of spare wings. We've got five at the moment. I wonder if they've just updated that because I was getting annoyed. Um, I ordered seven and whilst it was building seven, um, it wouldn't let me have access to any of the three that it had already built. So uh, this must have changed because that wasn't like that before. So that's a good thing. So now we do have some spares. We have three spares. Um, we have two spare rear wings, which we're redeveloping because I've um, got a better idea for that. Two spare side pods, two spare underfloor, two spare suspension. So as long as each car doesn't crash more than once, it should be fine. Um, what else are we working on? We are currently designing the new rear wing. That's going to be a little while away. That's going to make a big difference. That's, I think that's going to put us in front of Aston Martin. That's how much of a difference I think that is. Um, yeah, the manufacturing's on the go and the research. But we're also coming in here. Uh, Going to have a new design centre in nine days. Forget now what benefits that's going to give us, but it is going to give us some benefits. And the wind tunnel upgrade, which is going to help us go faster next year. So next year, I'm really confident. Um, in, in addition to all of that, both of our drivers, all three of our drivers, actually, are uh, almost out of contract. Now, the morale is okay, but their performance is somewhat lacking. So I think we need to scout for a replacement. And let's see, filter, age group. It's gotta be it's gotta be over 18. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's really irritating. Okay, so it's gotta be between 22 and 27 because the developers didn't think that maybe I would just wanna be 18 to 25. Brilliant. Okay, really happy with that. Average rating will go down one. Between 61 and 80 will take um Only available for negotiation. Okay, buy and return. Wow! Not a single driver meeting that uh, very complex depth of uh, systems. Uh, right, let's take that off. That's probably the problem. Wow, really? There are no drivers between 22 and 27 with a rating that high. What the hell? So hang on a minute, this guy's 26. 
which falls in between 22 and 27. Uh, excuse me? What am I not understanding here? That's an absolute waste of time then. All right. Um, oh, what should we do? Only available for negotiation. Here we go. Right. Robert Kubica. Upper Romeo Reserve Driver. Hmm. Is that just... What the hell's happened there? It just scrolled down to the bottom. That's so weird. Right. Oh, look at this guy. Theo Pocher. He's an F2 driver. He's 18, so he's legally uh, old enough to drive for us. Jack, Jack Dewan. Why couldn't I... Hang on. Okay, so he's open to negotiation. 19 years old. Right, let's do some scouting on this lad. I think we're going to change our drivers. Oh, he, by the way, I meant to say, big shout out to uh, Albon, who hit some complications uh, this weekend after um, having a, an appendix operation. Um, I hope you get well soon, buddy, and I know f there's no way in hell you're actually watching this channel, but, um, no, I just wanted to give you a big shout out, since I give you so much grief in this game every week, I thought it'd be rude of me not to at least say, hey, hey, hey. Um, cool, blimey, he's got a, an awfully long head, he must be very tall. So he's a level 73 already, he's only 18 years old, he's French, I won't hold that against him, only a joke. Uh, we'll do some scouting on this lad here. Um, why are these bookmarks? You can only bookmark five people. What the hell is that all about? Wow. Dennis Hauger from Norway. Okay. Right, we'll do some scouting on these guys. We haven't got long. We've got six months to sort this out. So I'm really going to have to step it up. And I'm really keen to go for a couple of young drivers and keep them for a long period of time and really evolve them. 74 and 80 are their skill levels, so that's kind of the area I'm aiming for. All right, let's go to the race weekend, see what else happens. Uh, monthly car development report. The morning sim, we've been watching how car one performs on track against other teams over the last month. From the looks of things, our car's top speed could be improved compared to the grid. Yes, we know this. I have added a full report below on what we've learned in general. We should use this report to decide what our car park designs to make over the next month. High speed, 17th. So, okay, so dirty air cornering. We're actually quite fast in the overtake. Um, on medium and high speed corners. Medium speed cornering again, we're quite fast on that, up 17th. DRS top speed. Our acceleration is excellent, so we get, this is kind of what we're seeing. We get right up behind them whenever we've got a DRS op uh, opportunity available to us. And then we just can't overtake the buggers because we're the slowest or second slowest team no, we are the slowest. We are the slowest DRS team. So the new rear wing that I built, um, which is going to be here in 40 days, that's going to change that. That's going to put us up a couple of notches and really help us out. But, um, yeah, this is this is where we're lacking. And I can't blame the guys for that. Albon was doing fantastically in the last race. If I just put wets on, I'm not going to go there again because I'll start crying. Anyway, um, financial report. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go to finances, fees and balance. But yeah, 33 mil. We're doing okay. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Board confidence check in. The, ah, I'm pleased to inform you that the board now have a high confidence in your leadership as team principal. That's interesting, seeing as we're 10th at the moment. And we're at Silverstone today. Right, that's a, that's a long old intro, isn't it? Performance targets, review targets. Yeah, yeah, yeah reach q2 i don't think we're going to do that not this not this week we're not going to do that but it's coming it is coming um 
Right, so how long is this? 306 kilometers, fine. going to be a lot of safety cars yeah really good chance of safety cars we're losing 21 seconds in the pits okay that do you know what that's the closest fall off i've seen on that uh so we're at 128.973 which is one one hundred hundredth of a second slower medium tires look like the best option to me as they often are okay i know i say it every week but this week i think there's a good chance good chance we can pull something out the bag here i'm thinking i'm already thinking mediums hards and push unless we get some wet weather if we get some wet weather we could really really get some points in we might even get double points check that out we're here in legendary us. silverstone where the very first formula one world championship grand prix was held back in 1950. it's a place where every tuft of grass breathes motorsport and the crowd are already crackling with excitement Silverstone demands a lot of power from cars with numerous twists and historic turns. Downforce is going to be a key factor to manage if teams want to succeed here. The season is about halfway through and it makes me wonder what else is in store for the teams. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get this underway. All right, so... Fantastic track. I've been to Silverstone to watch the MotoGP. That was incredible. That was one of the best weekends I've ever had. Um, and uh, I've actually driven around Silverstone as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, if what, somewhat slightly scary. But anyway, um, so we're going to have rain, sun, sun. So we're not going to get any rain in the race, it doesn't look like, but we are going to have some today. So, uh, thoughts real quick. Thing. The post practice report. Hmm. I should look at that more. I haven't really paid much attention to that. Uh, car one ready. Right, I want these guys to have a hundred percent climatization. Um, we're uh, we're going to be a hundred percent on car knowledge today as well. So, how do I look at the, the upcoming weather? This this is kind of my problem. It doesn't matter too much. We'll just go to practice and then deal with it when we get there. Radio check. Copy radio check. Right. So, it looks like we're going to be dry up until about there, so we can get 25 laps in now. Let's go right ahead and get 25 laps. Oh, what the hell did I do that for? It's not what I meant to do at all. Right, so we need some real high-speed straights. Um, so, get the rear wingy wings. Quite liking that. Got the front wingy wings. Quite liking that. Everything kind of centralised. I like it to be kind of centralised. That looks good to me. Run plan. 25 laps. Tifi out there, I guess. Then you're going to do a couple of laps and then come back in.
So it's two and a half seconds off the pace, which is what we've been dealing with all year. And our bon out. Keep our bond out there for as long as I can. One thing Latifi is good at, and that's getting five out of five pretty darn quickly. Latifi's actually quicker. Rain is coming. Yes, copy. Yeah, Latifi's actually quicker than uh, Albon, which doesn't happen very often. Car balance feedback when capacity. That. Okay, let's pull him in. Car is still so on edge. Copy. Wow, he actually put his fastest lap in as well. That's a bit weird. All right, so everything is bad. So we've definitely got everything wrong. Let's go top end. Of this bar and that changes everything but everything is bad so let's go and tweak some of this stuff back Looking good. That's making a big enough difference, but that will. Right, so everything is well away from where it was just a minute ago, so. Um Sticking with my 25 laps. I know you guys don't agree, but that's fine. You know, each to their own, etc., etc., etc. We're going to stick some wets on. Actually, we're going to medium, so I don't think it's going to get that wet, is it? So it's raining. Just one shot. Copy. Quickly, that goes up. Call him in. We can't afford to have uh, any accidents. So I think we're okay running intermediate. Get on here. So not good, basically. Well off the pace. How is that bad? That is surprising. Let's try something completely bloody different then. Be a lot of pit time. Yeah, sort of hovering around two mil. It's fine, we can cope with that. Latifi's got a free track to uh, go and test things out. No further range. No further rain, you serious? There's still water on the track, right? So there is water on the track, I'm just going to keep them out there until the water's gone. Bit annoying. I should have. Uh, I should have looked at that more carefully. I think it will be dry. Just 
stick some mediums on there. with Albon to see what the track looks like now. Oh, look at that. Absolutely last place. But his setup's not good, so maybe that's why. Latifi, though, is starting to come into his own. He's not really... not really impressed me uh, very much at all. Right, okay, so we're making some progress. lap of Silverstone, high speed corner this, into the sweeping S-Bends. Slow, I think that's the slowest corner on the track, I don't remember, pretty sure it is. I don't remember the names of this stuff, is it Gambon? They used. To, have you noticed they don't really uh, use corner names anymore? They just call it corner one, two, three, four. Uh, why is that? Why is that? Why have they moved away from naming? Thanks. There's the sweeping S bends. Just work. Okay, now I know where I am. It's been a while since I've raced Silverstone. Leave me alone. Wonderful track, this really is a great track. Alrighty. See if Albon can do a fast one. That's a good indication of how the race is going to go. <laughs> Effortlessly pulling away from us, that's nice to see. Are we, I think we're a little bit quicker than him in the uh, in the S's. And as soon as we get onto the straight, we know we're just going to get blitzed. Been like that for the entire season, really. I kind of want to make a proclamation and say it's all about the rear wing and just invest all my time and effort into the rear wing. Oh, that was not good at all. Happened there. Last lap was a 133. Okay.
All right. Go on then, lads. Get your race on. Make some difference. I think we've had a left. car run wide. Perez is having a bit of a dodgy season. A bit like Hamilton in that sense. Be nice if we could pick up Hamilton for a season, wouldn't it? Just for one year. To say to him that Frank would have loved you to have come to Williams. You know that. Why not give your last year to Williams? When you have it, Aha. you need to back on balance. Wonderful. Okay for now. Copy. Right, we've made some progress. That's good. Let's hope Albon has also made some progress, and we'll get some. Uh... Okay. Excellent. It's very neutral. Very neutral. Okay, yeah, it's a good starting base. We can work on that. We can progress on that. Get as much uh, race experience as we can. 25, 26. I want to get this up to 30, ideally. So we're a little bit behind where I want to be. But we're not we're not in terrible state. Good job, very much. Excellent, just made it. <clears throat> so Latifi is 0.1 of a second faster than Vettel. Albon is I don't know what's going on. Albon is not a clue. Perhaps the car setup just isn't suiting him right yet. So Max Verstappen is going to have a grid penalty. Pierre Gasly is also going to have a grid penalty. That's interesting. Yeah, look, Albon definitely better off. So that's starting us off on intermediates, which is a bit random. Let's jump in and see what we've got. So, yeah, we are going to have a bit of a wet session. Might as well leave them on those inters. All right, let's have a look, see what we've got here. Optimal. Great. Okay, so... So the rear wing's probably fine. I want to tweak this ever so slightly. Might be too much. I think that's quite going to give me what I'm looking for, but um, I'm just going to go with it anyway. Right, interesting. So this is a complete mess. <laughs> oh dear. Um, we definitely need more speed. So somewhere around there is good. That's probably great. Um, don't want to move that too much. That's, that's going to have to change. So where was this before? 11.5. So let's put that back to 11.5. And I can pull that back in. I'm liking that quite a bit. Let's 
outside the realms of what we're looking for, that's a problem. I'm quite confident with that, that feels good. Hey guys, get configured, let's go. This all has minimal impact, we know this. Until we get that new rear wing, there's not much that's going to happen. Oops. Radio check, you hear me okay? Copy, radio check. Could have been sat there a long time with it in pause mode, couldn't I? Light rain in the pit lane at the moment. Copy. There we go. Martins. Aston Martin, obviously, they're not going to be sat stagnating. They're going to get better and faster. So every improvement that we make, they're going to be chasing us. So we have to really focus on the key areas to get us that speed increase every race pretty much um, it's us and the Aston Martins at the back so we need to bridge the gap between us and the rest of the pack first I mean that has to be our primary primary concern why does that slow down again the guys out there game crashed. What the hell keeps doing that? Why does it keep pausing? Now wet. Uh, okay. And I suspect it's going to stay wet for probably the whole race, so I should have been on wet. Damn it. We know how ineffective inters are, so I'm just pulling them in. But there's no point in being out there on inters in wet conditions. There is absolutely no point. What's everyone else wearing? They're all wearing inters, though. That is odd. Only 4.74, though. I bet it drops back below 4. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, we know from last week that um, wet in inter conditions perform much better than inters in wet conditions, so not going to make that mistake ever again. Quite a lot of cars on inters out there, even though it's over 4 mil. How does that make any sense? You saw how much performance we lost. So I think it's pausing because the rainfall is changing. Albon is now faster than Latifi. It's a wet condition racer, more than Latifi is. Although Latifi did fantastic, I thought. Last week, Albon was clearly the fastest though, let's be fair. Until that infamous moment where somebody made a terrible decision based on lack of clarity and knowledge. Okay, let's call him in. what we can do for you they mate bait. Right, so the traction is out oversteer is optimal that's still great but not perfect I 
I'm going to say that little change there could make all the difference. That looks pretty good to me. I'm quite confident with that. Back on the cut. So oh, good for me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, good job, guys. All right, Latifi's for actually me. proper happy. Got optimal cornering, which is good. A little bit of tweaking required. I don't think that's going to be too much. Let's just try that one little change. Rear wing adjustment, nice and fast. Fifty percent acclimatization. Just gonna leave them out there now. Someone's run wide. Oh, I thought it was us for a second. Oh, thank goodness for that. Fine, that's not a problem. I think someone's run wide. Vettel's running wide. This happens a lot on Silverstone. Little, tiny little mistakes. And dry weather. Yeah, copy. Um, I'll ignore that for a minute. It's, there's still water on the track. And yeah, okay, we're at the end of the session, it's fine. The rear is a little bit on the edge. Yeah, just don't crash it. Guys, we'll be fine. They're killing me. Anything we could do? Just no regret. Yeah, copy. Let's we'll just pull him in. Do you want to keep working the size? Right. Yeah, Gasly's having a good session. My track acclimatization is pretty low. Today, we see the culmination of the team's practice efforts translate to the all important qualifying session. Practice 3 affords the teams one final opportunity to tweak their setups as the drivers get to grips with the tracks every turn. Once they reach qualifying, there simply won't be time to think twice. Drivers will need to outdo one another if they're to climb their way up the grid and secure themselves a solid starting position for tomorrow's race. So get yourselves comfortable, it's going to be quite the ride. All right, so looks like we're going to have some good weather. Uh, we're going to go for hards today. I'm going to do 25 laps. I'm not going to do too much else. Our tyres. Five laps. Let's have a look at the setup. See if we've got any feedback on anything. Great, good, good, great. Not impressive at all, is it?
Send him out there with that tweak. Could make a difference. Let's have a look at your car setup. The braking stability is bad. Not have that. We may have undone all of our good work here. Right, let's jump in. Session three. Radio check. Copy the radio check. I don't want to say it, but I am thinking this is the first weekend we haven't had any accidents. Okay. That feels pretty good. Let's call the car in and we'll do a little bit of tweaky there. It's great, good. But we're not going to be changing that. Wouldn't it be nice if we start seeing that we're actually putting in top 10 times? That would really be a sign of progression, wouldn't it? That would, you'd feel like you've achieved something then. Here goes absolutely nothing. We've just had a car run wide. It's not us this weekend, which is good. And some fast laps, even on, uh, I suppose they've been, they've been out on wet, haven't they? These are kind of timing so much more than one. Who's yeah. that wide there? Balance feedback when capacity. It's kind of gone down rather than. Yeah. Count is okay. Copy. The highest, highest confidence was one. Highest confidence was 3.45. Highest confidence was 8.2. Highest confidence was 11.5. Highest confidence was 5. So, that puts us slightly outside of here. This is, I think this is the one that we haven't quite got right, the braking stability. Um, Close to. 
but no more tweaks available on the car basically that's all we can do today Take great. Behind uh, Latifi, which I don't think has happened before, is it? Every week, Albon is the fastest out of the two drivers. Is Latifi turning a corner or is Albon diminishing his returns? Hmm. Who knows? Come on, buddy, get this in. Ten minutes left. I think it's just about going to squeeze it in. Set the softs on, send him out there. A couple of minutes on softs, see if he can. Uh, oh, there you go, smashed it. Took 0.6 of a second off. Uh, when you have it, back on balance. Oh, good for me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, good job, guys. Copy. Let's call him in. Don't think he's going to have enough time, but let it go anyway. Oh, they've run wide! Latifi running wide on 14. Fantastic. Has he now. smashed the car up? Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. They're oh, forced goodness. wide, and there we can see them slide off. Oh, did someone run wide there? Ninety-six percent. Gotta be close, isn't he? Hey Latifi, all of a sudden, second fastest driver in our team. Right, not the best practice, I've got to be honest. It's not instilling me with much confidence, even though I said right at the beginning I felt like we could get some points this week. If we get lucky, then maybe we'll get some points, but uh, not hundred percent sure. Right, so our engine is quite low. Wow, all of our engines are quite low. Gearbox is a bit cream crackered. We'll swap that out. Maybe that'll help things a bit. We can do with the ERS. A slightly better engine. Wishful thinking, guys. Radio check. Copy, radio check. Just going to keep sending them out one after another. Just get as many laps in as we can. Not quite fast enough to um, really put any damage on anything yet, so it'd be daft to uh, think that we could.
Okay, so I'm going to put fresh slicks on. The run plan is going to be... No, 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 no. Get rid of the cooldown laps. We're going to go for two hot laps. Gonna confirm that. The same with him. Ah, 2007 is now following. Thanks so much for the follow, buddy. Much appreciated. Let's send them out and see what happens. I'm going to get maybe even one lap in at this rate. Right, let's jump on board. Latifi is last. Albon is out. The Albon's our only chance of getting any kind of Q2. But it's just not going to happen. We're not ready for that sort of thing yet. What was that? Why is he... Are we finished? Oh. Well, we didn't make it. Surprise, surprise. Obviously, that's not the way forward for us this week. We're going to be in the strategy. Strapping themselves in, ready for race day. Williams had a good performance in qualifying. Now they'll be eager to demonstrate that they can have an even better race. Aston Martin did a good job during qualifying, and they're pretty much where everyone expected them to be on the grid. Last. Now it's up to them <laughs> to defy but just in front of us. Last. Itself. Just in front of us. And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain scattered on the horizon. This is sure to be quite the spectacle then. And we've got a front row seat for today's race here at Silverstone. Alrighty. Alrighty then. So here's, here's the weather condition. So we're not going to have any rainy weather at all. We're going to do a one-stop strategy. We're going to go medium hard. Boom. Simple as that. Nothing clever, nothing smart. Medium hard. I've already decided a long time before. Right, driver options. We are going to go hard. We're going to go heavy on the fuel. We're going to try and gain some positions early on. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to do something that we tinkered with before. All right, let's just check this. Uh, car parts, car setup. 89% confidence. This is the highest confidence he had. Great across the board. That is pretty damn good. Uh, fuel. I'm going to bring it down by two. Just two. I'll keep that as is. Compound medium, power parts, 90% confidence. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, that's good. Again, we're going to come down by two. And yes, right. Here we go. Feeling confident, guys. I really am. Quite a few clouds overhead as we look at the lineup on the grid. Here we have Alexander Albon. With their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. Next up for the team, it's Latifi. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. Will their hard work pay off today? You know it, baby. Points in the bag. And the drivers are ready for this. The British Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Right, we're going to put ourselves in overtake mode. Okay, easy overtake. We're going to use yeah. a little bit. Just to get... like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. So we've lost a position straight away. That's always good. All right, screw that then. We'll go back to neutral. 
And it's going to be one of those long races, so uh, they're not fighting each other, so we shouldn't have that problem. Let's just start banging out some laps. Any firm on DRS? So maybe we can start overtaking a few cars here. So Latifi is ahead of Albon right now, which is a little bit of an odd one. They've both just overtaken Stroll. And there's an overtake from Williams. Yeah, Let's take that. a closer look. Now we see the Williams here. Double overtake. He must be fuming. Look at that. One on the outside, one on the inside. Double ganked him. Nice. And there they go. <laughs> Moving up in position. Just ah, I've put a, a small little smile on my face. The team watching on and clearly loving that. Right, so two cars in the pits. A bit early. We're up to 15th. 15th and 17th. Look how far behind we are from the rest of the pack. That's just mental. Well, I've got to say, so far, things are going rather well. Other than being really slow, but then we're really slow every week, so... We have to put up with that. 15th and 16th, 14 laps into the race. That's got to cheer up the bosses, right? We're actually pulling away from the Aston Martins a little bit. We don't normally do that. 14th and 15th, come on guys! Maybe medium hard to the way forward in the future. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We're in point positions. No, we're not. We're just outside. What? The Tifi gets up into 11th and then starts driving wide. Not happy about that, Albon, at all. Uh, Latifi, I mean, sorry. So, Latifi in 12th. No, no proper crashes yet. For Alpha Tauri. Yes, he's just overtaken our bike. So I'm going to hold on to these tyres for a little bit longer. Alpha Tower regains the place. Let's bring the two feet in. Uh, how many laps are left, actually? We are so bang on nearly. I might go medium, medium. be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh. Right, let's hold on. Hold on to those tyres just for a little bit longer and then we can do double mediums. Pass with an overtake there. They are losing a lot of places there.
That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Right, so who's where? Now Bonnie's first. Let's bring him in. Pit options. We're going to put you on mediums, mate. Uh, boxing this lap. Box, box. Yes, the key box. The tires are like ice. Feels like I'm driving on ice. We'll put you on hard. Understood. Guys, mix it up a bit. They're killing me. Anything we can do. Right, our bond is going out. And a new position just gained by Williams. And push hard. Both cars. Albon is still 15th, which is awesome. Really no incidents in this race at all so far, which cut somewhat from surprising. Albon is actually closing the distance here. Go on, go on. The 14th. Latifi must have lost a lot of time with those crappy tyres for one lap. Hmm. We've got much better tyre conditions than I have. A bit weird. Weird actually. Someone's run wide! overtake from Williams nice let's take a look at the replay now let's look we're watching Nicholas Latifi very often we get to watch an overtake they take advantage and muscle their way through excellent Wonderful. work got to be happy with that in the garage the team absolutely loved it <laughs> Few laps left. We should be fine. Car run wide. This would be a good result for us. 14th, 14th, 17th, and we've got just enough fuel, so we're looking pretty good there. Right. We just had a car run wide. Use their rest. Copy. There's nothing to be gained from, from deploying the uh, DRS. Uh, except for trying to keep Mick Schumacher at bay. Come on. Pick that 14th place. Just use the overtake. Okay, copy. Two laps to go. We were right on him. Right on him. 14th and 17th would be a nice result. Go on. Go on.
This has to be it now. Come on, mate. Make the move. Why are you lifting off? You've got one more chance at this. One more chance. And this is the chance right now. You either make it or we go home sad. And this is the last lap. Come on. And Sainz crosses the line first. He's taken the win. Oh. Totally let him go there, didn't we? Come on. Oh, he's locked up, Albon. You just totally ruined my day with that move. And that's the lockup. Full deploy. Yeah, deploy. Copy. We are pretty quick through there, aren't we? We're not going to make it. There's no way he's going to do this in the time we've got left. Guys are about to drop off. He's almost out of ERS. I can't see this happening. He's there. He's right on him now. Check the DRS. Yes. Hey. Uh, so close. Still, not a terrible result for us at all. Amazing performance from Nicholas Latifi this weekend. We actually finished the whole race. We got all the laps in, which is cool. That doesn't usually happen either. Williams have got to be happy with their results here. This was good work. I wouldn't be surprised if the team's performance today won them a lot of new fans. Now that all the points have been tallied, the team is in 10th place in the constructor standings. Next time, the teams will be forging ahead at full throttle through the Styrian Forest. The Austrian Grand Prix is right around the corner. Well, there we go. We have to put all of our eggs in the Austrian Grand Prix and just hope that we get lucky there. That was not a terrible, terrible result for a, a little team like us. Wondering now if I should hold on to these drivers. Difficult to know what to do for the best. Right, so we've got some uh, suspension options come in. James Irwin. Alex Alexander Albon has low morale. Okay. Alexander Albon has low morale, which will make it difficult to keep them when their contract runs out. Underperforming in races and not getting along with their race engineer are the most common causes of low morale, but they are getting on, so it's about low performances then. Carlos Sainz, yeah, great race. The board watched the race at Silverstone. Congratulate you on meeting our expectations. So they're happy. That's good. Is this? Yes, 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 I know. Expansion has been manufactured. Design Center. Ooh. Does that mean? So yes, the Red Bull Ring. We could do something at the Red Bull Ring. It's always a, a good track to be competitive on. Engineer capacity has gone from 6 to 10. Beautiful. Not the upkeep has gone up. But effectiveness is 100%. Right, that is really good for us. Um, let's go to cars. Car parts and development. Yeah, current projects are... We're designing a rear wing. But we've done the research for the front wing, so we can now 
do a new design project. No, we can't. We can do a new manufacture project. That's annoying. I thought we'd have a new design option. But let's see here. Maybe it's something I need to do. The design center. Project capacity, car design parts. Two. Yeah, we have the option of two. We have extra engineers. So, um, why isn't that working? Cars. New project. No, nope. let's look at it. current projects. Design. Why can't I do a second design then? So weird. Well, that hasn't worked very well, has it? So maybe it will become active in the in the next race. Ah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, that was actually, I'd say that was two decent races in a row. And I, I feel like there are points right around the corner. I say that all the time. It's, maybe it's just positive thinking, but I really do feel like it's something positive about to happen exactly what that is I don't know but anyway I'm excited to see hope you are too see you in the next one take care bye for now